School is out, by the way, and that means family vacations are here. So many of us planning a road trip, packing up the car, piling in the kids. But what happens if something goes wrong? Would you know what to do if your car broke down on the side of the road? I'm talking about basic stuff like changing a tire. This morning, we are putting real people to the test and showing you how to do it quick and easy so you don't get stranded. Families hitting the highway. And road trips are more popular than ever. According to AAA, 80% of Americans surveyed are planning road trips this year. But what happens when something goes wrong with your car? Would you know what to do? Okay, we have a car here that's pretty screwed up. The battery is dead, the windshield washer fluid is empty, and oh, just for kicks, the tire is flat. So we're gonna get a bunch of volunteers together to see if they can fix this stuff. And for all of you at home, myself included, to teach us how to do this, we have Patrice here, Hi. a certified mechanic. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Good, how all are right, you? All right, so I, I look forward to you teaching us how to do this, but yes. for our volunteers, uh -huh. do you think they'll be able to do it? I think we're gonna be surprised. A lot of people don't know this stuff. They think they can. They think they can, we'll see. We'll see, all right, let's all right. check it out. We start with an easy one, refilling the windshield wiper fluid. Fill it up. Oh goodness, my husband does cars. He's gonna kill me if I don't get this right. <laughs> Oh no. I have faith. Uh-oh. Oh wait, blue was over there. Here. No, it's not here either. It's not looking so good. Oh no. Epic fail. But just when we're about to get it. Oh, I see it. You're doing it. You got it. Our other volunteers get it right too. Right here. Boom. Even if they do need a little extra help. Now we're up to Google Images, by the way. Ah, it's right here. I found it. It worked? <laughs> yeah. Love it. Three for three. And for you at home, it's the little black cap with that picture of the windshield on it. But what happens when we try something a little harder, like the dreaded dead battery, which experts say can drain even faster in extreme heat, leaving you stranded? These two volunteers struggle to even open the hood. But when one of them does get it open... I'm not exactly sure what to do with these. This one I'm not sure about. This guy is also stumped. When I first told you to do this, did you think you could do it? I did. I did. And here we are. Stuck. <laughs> Stuck like Chuck. Okay, time for the expert to show us. A lot of people didn't know how to open the hood. How do you open it? Okay, so you're looking for the latch that's right in the middle of the hood. You want to push it up or to the oh, side the to latch. release it. You want to start with the red clamp. You want to start with the dead battery. Red for dead. Okay, is red this positive clamp or negative? On the positive or the red side of the battery. So red is positive. Got now, it. the next place you go is you grab these other cables and you want to go over to the good battery. Okay. Okay? And you're going to put the red on the red side or the positive side of the good battery. Red to red, and then you come and you stay at the good battery and you put the black one on. And then I come right. over here. And the last one you do is it's the, the black. black. Okay, and you want to put it on the black side or the negative side, and then you want to turn on the good car. Now I'm going to turn mine on. It's on. It worked. And that's how you jump a car. But the biggest problem threatening your summer trip, a flat tire. Would you know how to fix that? We've given you everything you need right here. Okay. All the tools to give you a head start. I have no idea. It's supposed to go under. Oh, no. I can't do it. I really have no clue. I feel like... You gave it your best shot. That's what matters. Well, that wasn't even really a shot. We are striking out. Will this guy do any better? All right, now, usually you got loosen the lug nuts. It's easier when it's sitting on the ground. We're impressed. He's doing everything right. Loosening the lug nuts first with that tire iron, then using the jack to lift the car. Most cars come with them in the trunk. Next, pulling the old tire off and putting the new tire on. And finally, putting the lug nuts back on and tightening them. Congratulations. You did it. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. You win a free car. Awesome. Experts say the key is to practice doing this stuff at home before anything goes wrong on the road. By the way, some local repair shops even offer workshops so you can feel confident doing it yourself. And by the way, if this all flew by too fast, we have a full list, step-by-step -step instructions, even photos, Al, on our website right now at today.com. I confess, I couldn't do it. You were saying don't trust the tire that you if put I on. If I put it on, I wouldn't get in the car. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, no. Hi. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.